fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. This is a story of one of the most mysterious characters to appear in the early days of the West. He was a fabulous individual. A man whose presence brought fear to the lawless and hope to those who wanted to make this frontier land their home. He was known as the Lone Ranger. We're on Dave Ingle's property now, Tonto. Yes, Kimosabe. Funny we know see cattle. No water anywhere. There's a water hole. this country better than we do, Tonto. We've lost him. Tonto like to see that man's face, Kimasabi. Maybe we will, later on. We go back, talk to Dave Angles now? Not yet. First, we'll ride into town and see what's going on around here. How many head have you lost with the bad water, Dave? About 31. Too bad. What are you going to do about it? Well, I talked to the sheriff. He said he couldn't figure it out. But I've done something else that'll surely end my trouble. Yeah? What's that? I'd rather not say just yet. I suppose it's your business if you don't want to tell me. In the meantime, use my water. Oh, thanks, John. I'd like to confide in you. I understand, Dave. I'd hope that you wouldn't be as unfriendly as some of the people in our valley. Oh, now, John, I didn't mean to offend you. You know, making a little money isn't always a dishonest business. Well, here you are, Mr. Ingalls. Oh, howdy, Mr. St. Ives. Hello. You know, it's funny him wearing boots with high heels. I guess he ought to be satisfied with himself. I sure would be if I had his money. Well, that's just a peculiar twist of the man. He'd give half of what he owns to be as tall as you are. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Vanity sure does a lot of things to a man. I had a cousin. Uh, I'll get that sack of flour. That'll uh, be the last of your order. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey! What are you doing in town? I told you to ride that south line. Slim Davis is riding for me. I had to come in to tend to something for myself. All right, but get back as quick as you can. Hey, Well, well. 
Mr. St. Ives, it's certainly a pleasure to have you with us. How do you find the eggs? The question is, how long ago did you find them? <laughs> That's a good one. Ben, you're looking at Mr. St. Ives. <laughs> I got practically all the cattle in San Pedro Valley. And all the water that fits the cattle to drink, too. Yippee! <laughs> yep, I'd have been so much taller if I hadn't heard so much of me yonder. <laughs> as I said before, men, I'm as big as any of you. Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on out there? Must be something awful funny. Oh, not much. Just a few of the boys cutting up. You wouldn't be interested. <laughs> Nothing for you to see, Mr. St. Ives. <laughs> yep, I'd have been so much taller if they hadn't turned so much of me yonder. <laughs> One I can't take with my size, I can buy with my money. Yeah! <laughs> That's funny me, will you? I didn't mean to miss the St. Ives. I can explain. Honest, I can. Oh! Ah! Oh! I'll stop! Oh. What do you think you're doing, St. Ives? Step aside, Dave Engels. I'm teaching you all man a lesson. I'd rather you'd come to me if you've got something to complain about. If Hank has done anything wrong, I'll take care of him. You'll take care of him. <laughs> if you can't get your men to respect me, you can't have any more water from me for your cattle. Now, hold on a minute, St. Ives. You're going too far with this. You heard what I said. No more water. Understand? But you can't ruin a man over a thing like this. I can't, huh? <laughs> Angles, who is your accomplice? I don't know who it was. How about the water for my cattle? I'll do anything in the world. I'll give you just 24 hours to get your cattle from away from my land and away from my water holes. I'm sorry, Hank. You're fired. So I'm fired, am I? <laughs> Seems like you put yourself out of the cattle business. You take it. It's not counterfeit. I didn't figure on the whip. Uh, St. Ives surprised me, too. I'm sorry about that. Well, here's an extra ten. Buy some liniment. What are we going to do about that Indian and the masked man who ran away from at the water hole? I'll take care of them if they show up around here. In the meantime, I'll have to make a quick bargain with Engels. What are you up to? All this scheming and causing trouble between two good friends. Or shouldn't I maybe ask questions? You shouldn't ask questions, Hank. Him, a small one, to make joke of rich man. Monk did that? Uh, why you not see Dave Angles when we in town? Him sent for you. Yes, I know, Tano. I'm glad we saw that trouble in town before anyone knew we were around. What we do now? When Angles asked for help, he said his water holes had gone bad. He suspected foul play. He's right. They've all been poisoned. Which one do this? No, he's got all the land he wants. Besides, if St. Ives wanted Dave's place, he'd simply buy it. There's something else behind it. I found this near the edge of the water hole. What's mean, Kimasabe? I'm not sure, Tano, but I intend to find out. Let's go. Hello, Mr. Engel. 
Hello, Blackie. Where's John? Sorry, Miss Ingalls. He doesn't want to see you. And I've got orders to keep you off this property. Now, look here, Blackie. I've got nothing against you. But no foreman of his is going to order me off his property. John and I have been good friends. I'm sorry about what happened, and I want to tell him so. He says your men don't respect him, and that you put them up to it. That's not so. I fired Hank for making fun of John. I want to tell him so, and you're not going to stop me. Oh, uh, going in for gunplay, eh? Yeah, there's something funny about my water hose going bad. What do you mean? Next thing you know, he'll be offering to buy my cattle cheap. All he wants you to do is stay off his property. Any man that'd wear those high heels that he's tall as other men and stop at nothing to gain his point. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Engels. Now, look here, Blackie. I don't want any trouble with you. Hold it. Both of you. So, it was you in town. Who is this? Who are you? Never mind who I am. I knew you'd get here. You're still on my side, ain't you? I'm on no one's side. Huh. No wonder you didn't meet me in town. You'd better listen to me. Listen to you? What for? If you're finished, I'll be going. Ben Ives is wrong, no matter what Hank did. If it wasn't for his vanity, this trouble never would have happened. Well, what do you mean? Someone is using you two men for their own advantage. Well, who can that be? I'm not sure. I have to ride to Clay City. I can't tell you what I'm going there for. You'll have to trust me. I'm leaving Tano in charge. I'll be gone better part of the night. Remember, no more gunplay. Back from Clay City by now. Him come soon. Here he is. You've been gone all night. What took you so long? I had a great deal of information to get. The trip was worth it. What we do now? You ride over, get St. Ives, then meet Dave and me in town. Me go. What do you want me to do? I'll explain as we ride. taking the beating, but I've never seen you so down, Dave. There's a first time for everything. Even a first time for a man to know when he's licked through. No, no, you just can't pull out. You'll lose too much. Say, perhaps I can help you. Huh? Cattleman Dave, but I've got a heart for fellows like you. You mean that, Monk? Sure. You're really serious? Sure. I'll tell you what I'll do. Three stacks of corn. Two stacks of just talking to myself, that's all. Two sacks of oatmeal. later. I wouldn't cheat you. Sounds all right to me. Let's go into my office. We can talk it over better. Thanks, Monk. You're a real friend, Monk. Oh, don't mention it. Glad to be of help. Now, seeing that I'm buying your land only temporarily, I think we'd better keep the price down rather low so you can buy it back after a while. Is that what I'm going to do? Sure. St. Ives will cool off after a bit. You and he'll be friends again. Say, how are you going to get water from our... Our cattle. Remember, St. Ives is mad at you, not me. <laughs> I can get the water from him, all right. Say, he'll be madder than a hungry coyote outside of a chicken house when he finds out what you'd be did. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to draw up a bill of sale. Say, we'll need the deed of your property for descriptions and measurements. Sure. I got them home locked up in a strong box. I'll fetch them. Hurry back, partner. I'll have the cash waiting. Fine. It worked just like you said it would. Good, Dave. I'm riding out to my house for my deeds. 
You go ahead. I'll wait for you here. Why are you about it, Monk? Getting us out for me, too. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Hank? Playing cowboys and Indians? Yeah. I got a funny way of protecting my business interests. Meaning what? I overheard that slick deal you made with Engels. Now, look here, Hank. Never mind. You wouldn't tell me the straight of it. You was going to give me a job. Well, I can use a little salary in advance. How much? Oh, about $1,000. If I go through with the deal, will you promise to keep that trap of yours closed? I'd be a fool to kill a business deal, wouldn't I? All right, all right. I'll, I'll give you 500 now, and I'll give you the other 500 when the place is in my hands. Well, I guess I can trust you. Hand over the 500 now. You can put that shooting iron back, Monk. The trick's too old. Are you sure about this? Remember, I'm signing my property over to that rascal. <laughs> you said you'd trust me, Dave. That's right, I did. Well, here goes. the same as on my papers. Well, let's get them signed. Uh, how about me seeing some cash on the barrel head? Oh. There you are, Dave. 5,000. I'll sign on the top line. Monk, you don't know how much you're helping me out. I sure will never forget this. You won't have any trouble raising 5000 when you want to buy the place back, will you, Dave? No, I'm sure I won't now. That's right, Dave. Well, let's have a drink to celebrate. Yeah, I guess we ought to. <laughs> Drinks on the house. Everybody, my friend Dave Engels and I have just posed a deal. Everything's going to be all right in this valley from now on. Drink up, boys. What's the matter, Hank? Aren't you drinking with us? I ain't celebrating. I still got money coming to me on this deal of yours. Of course, it'll be taken care of. Come on, have a drink. I don't want your cheap liquor. I want my other 500 now. You see, I don't trust you like Mr. Engels here. All right, if that's the way you want it, I'll give it to you. Right in the belly. <laughs> You can't come busting in here like this, interfering with my personal business? Your personal business happens to affect this whole valley. What are you driving at? I found out why you caused trouble between Dave Ingalls and St. Ives. I caused trouble? Why? Because Dave would have to sell his place at a sacrifice if he couldn't get water from St. Ives. Oh, if you're trying to pin something on me, you're barking up the wrong tree. Am I? Yes. I tried to help Dave. I bought that land legally and properly. I found this surveyor's plumb out by one of Dave's poison water holes. Now, very interesting. I just got back from Clay City. I talked to the surveyors who worked on Dave's property. What? The new railroad is running right through the northern section of your property, Dave. So that's it. With you owning his place, Monk, you'd have the ranchers in the palm of your hand. Sure he would. Cattle can be shipped cheaper for my place than the railhead. Granting what you say is true, masked man, what are you going to do about it? The law can't touch me. The law can do something about you poisoning those water holes, Monk. The masked man's right, Monk. I don't want to be part of this mess. Shut up, Hank. I bought that land legally. I've got the deed, he's got the cash, and nothing can change that. Your friend here might do some talking. What's going on here? What deed are you talking about? <laughs> this fellow has just helped me make some money. Why don't you tell him about the new railroad coming through? Railroad? What railroad? I own the piece of land that connects the whole valley with the new railhead. What do you think of that, Mr. Shorty St. Ives? Shorty! Why, you fool! I'd like to see that document, Monk. Is it legal? Legal? <laughs> Take a look at it. All signed and everything. Doesn't look legal to me. Here's your money back, Monk. You can trust me. I wouldn't cheat you. Well, there is no signature. I've been tricked. <laughs> Could you 
food, John. You know, Dave, I've learned something. I can be just as big a man without these darn things. <laughs> Mr. Engels, I want you to know I'm sorry about that misunderstanding we had. Oh, that's all right. You were only doing what you were told. I hope everything will be peaceful once again in San Pedro Valley. It will be now, thanks to him. Say, Mr. Engels, there's something that puzzles me. You did sign that paper of Monk's, didn't you? Yes, I did. We signed it with disappearing ink. My friend slipped into Monk's office before we transacted the deal and put it in the inkwell. Your friend on the white horse? Yes. Who is he, anyway? I only know what folks call him. The Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. 